Uh, good afternoon YouTube. So I got a clamp meter here on my solar charge controller. This is my old EP Solar 40 amp MPPT and right now I've got a pair of 60 watt panels in series to make up a 120 watt 24 volt panel and then that's in parallel with a 270 watt 24 volt panel. So they're both 60 cells and I'm only getting about three and a quarter amps, which is about the full output power of the pair of 60 watts panel. So you have about three and a quarter amps at maximum power. And I'm also getting about the maximum power point voltage, 33 volts. But I'm not seeing the eight or nine amps from the 270 watt panel. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, I came up on the, my patio roof here, and this is the back side of the 270 watt panel. And I pulled the cover off of the uh, J box there. And there's a definite smell of something burnt. But that first bypass diode was running about at least 100 degrees C, and the rest of them were like 60. And I'm only getting about 24 volts open circuit out of this panel. I get 9 amps, 9.1 amps short circuit current. Yeah, so I just checked the voltages. I get about 12 volts between these two pins. And then up to here, I get 24 volts. And across the full panel, I get 24 volts. So it's, I think it's telling me that diode is uh, just dead short. I think these two are working. So I think the plan is I will snip this one out of here. Let's see if we can get the temperature probe up here. So we've got about 45, 50 on that diode. Get about 55 on that one. Oh, there we go. There's 75. There's a, almost a hundred. And I don't. I have the panel uh, disconnected at this point, so there's no load on it. And that uh, diode over there on the left, I think, is shorted. So let's give that a cut. Well, there is the diode. It actually just fell out of there. I cut cut the wire on one side and it just popped off and the thing I can't still can't touch it it's it is just smoking hot so I took the uh, diode out and I now get 35 volts across there so that's like the open circuit voltage I'm expecting so I'm going to go plug the fuse in and let's see if we get some more current down at the charge controller Okay, I think I found the problem. You see those three dark spots just above and to the left of the junction box? Those started sparking and smoking when I did a, tried to do a short circuit current test. Yeah, you got this one coming up. And then there's a connection across there. And the three tabs that connect to the next, the third row of panels, looks like they've... Uh, gone open circuit on me. So I guess I'm going to have to pull the panel down and see if I can get into that. Because it looks like it's burned through the back, whatever this back material is. Yeah, I've never seen that before. And I guess that's what the diode was shorting that. So when I took the diode out, all the current passed through those bad connections and then they burned out. So I guess the diode was protecting the damaged panel, and then when I took the diode out, the uh, open circuit right there, or high, high resistance connector, burned open. So I guess I need to pull the panel down and see what I can uh, come up with. So yeah, I'll, I'll have to get this off of here, and, and then we can take a look at it up close, instead of standing on top of the ladder here, which is kind of precarious. Something is going on on this one panel here. And this one is different than all the other ones that I got. I got a, a pallet of five. This one you can really see through where if we go over to the one next door, you can hardly see the light through the panel where this one, it's very visible. So this panel definitely looks different than all the other four that I have. It's just got a totally different appearance to it. So I'm not sure if that's part of it or what's going on. But anyway, if you've ever seen that happen, have any uh, tips on repairing that, or if it is even repairable, uh, post up in the comments section below. 
And as always, thanks for watching.